Glucose is the energy of life. Glucose is part of sugar. It's part of starch. It's everywhere around us because every cell on the planet burns glucose for energy. Now, you eat a meal, you get a glucose load. That glucose gets absorbed from your intestine and goes straight to the liver. The liver takes about 20% of that glucose load and imports it into the liver directly. That leaves about 80% of the glucose out in the bloodstream to circulate, and that raises the serum glucose. You can measure that. You can measure it with finger sticks. You can measure it with a CGM. The point is that glucose load is supplying substrate for either growth or burning to the rest of the body. 20% is going to your brain, and the rest is going to your heart, your kidneys, your muscles, any other organ that needs energy, which is all of them. That will raise your serum glucose, which you can measure. The cells will extract the glucose they need. The only cell that needs insulin to import that glucose is your fat cell. So whatever's left over, the insulin will clear and put into the fat cell for storage because the rest of the body doesn't need the insulin to extract the glucose from the bloodstream. So a glucose spike, in essence, is your body's attempt to clear your meal. And every organ in your body will take what it needs and only the fat cell will get the rest. And it gets that from insulin. The higher the spike, the more your rest of your body didn't get it. So the goal is keep the spikes low so that the rest of the body doesn't need the insulin in order to clear it.